Uh, good afternoon. Uh, thank you very much for a kind introduction. Uh, my name is Hiroshi Koyama from Mitsubishi Electronic Corporation. And uh, uh, today, I'd like to introduce our capability for SSA SDA related matters. Uh, ちょっと日本語でいきたいと思います。I would like to speak in Japanese from now. The space sustainability related topics have been covered in our discussion, and the core technology there is SSA, SDA related technology. So, talking about SSA, SDA, what are the technological situation? Uh, these are the areas that I would like to share with you. And uh, for the future, international collaboration. These are the core technology. So which uh, area are the area for international coordination? Uh, these are the topics I would like to cover today. First of all, our Mitsubishi Electric Corporation. Uh, this is our management policy written here. Through business, we want to uh, deal with uh, changes in society. In this policy, in various area, we want to secure sustainability and develop sustainability. This is the, one of the key management policies of our company. And as for our company, in the space defense business, uh, we are not just doing this business uh, alone, but as a part of the comprehensive electric manufacturer, we are engaged in defense and space business. So commercial capabilities are to be utilized. And this is uh, what started in various parts of space in the world. And to have a variety of business in a company is one of the key elements. We have research institute and auto and SA related technology is also available. And we have a state of the art technology to be utilized and uh, captured in space and defense business. That's what we want to do. Next this is a slide describes the business overview. So far, talking about defense and space, uh, we were doing separate business between defense and space in the past. And in space, uh, various satellite communication system and uh, various uh, awareness system. And as for defense, we have air defense system, radar systems. Furthermore, we have uh, electromagnetic systems as well. And they are integrated and fused under the name of defense and space business. And for the first time, uh, we believe we are able to realize space security in this background. And uh, when uh, these uh, two areas are fused, expand the communication or a space monitoring system and ISR system uh, can be utilized in this domain. Now let's look at this chart. When we generally talk about SSA and SDA, talked in various uh, parts of the world, but uh, technically, what kind of elements will be required in SSA and SDA? This is what I would like to cover. First, uh, ground system related topics. On these pictures, you see a various uh, some ground segments. On the right, you see the um, optical. Uh, telescope used on the left, a radar-related system for the space is described. Simply on the right, we have the optical system. So a large aperture um, telescope uh, key in SSA, SDA system. Take an example of Japan. Uh, we delivered the uh, telescope to observatories, and JAXA has space uh, center and they have the large telescope. These are the things that we engage in as a business. And so for technology, we have a Subaru telescope in a Mauna Kea, uh, in Hawaii, 8.2 meters a diameters um, optical telescope is another technology that Japan has. On the left-hand side, you see a radar system. SSA, SDA, in order to do them, in, order, in addition to optical, a radar is also important. There are some examples here. JSBS-5 is um, ex ex uh, available. This is a system developed for Ministry of Defense. It's a, a very a large, a very far uh, tracking uh, is possible. And we delivered to Kyoto University MU radar to um, observe air. And recently, we are developing this space radar. This is one of the key point. In the next page, I would like to explain uh, using the detailed ex uh, information. This space later uh, means, as it says, 
So this is a system uh, to look at the static um, um, orbit. As you can see here, the shapes of la ra radar is different from the past. In the past, what we can imagine is a big uh, a ball type of antenna, and uh, uh, various data is captured here. And as you look at this, there are six small antennas combined each other. That is a shape. It's a so-called distributed system. So small antennas are assembled one after another, and then a big aperture uh, radar can be realized. And you are able to collect various power, and you are able to view the static um, orbit as well. So with this SSA system, uh, we have a Huchu Control System Operation Center located in Huchu area in Tokyo. This is about the explanation of space system, space-related SSA SDA capabilities summarized here. First of all, so satellites for SDA are being developed. Uh, this will be put on the GEO uh, belt. So in order for us to conduct SSA and SDA uh, related activities in the space, uh, maneuverability in space uh, is very essential. And when that is advanced furthermore, the refueling or uh, repair in space would also become necessary in the future to be implemented. So we are uh, looking at uh, those uh, things uh, as well in technical area. Furthermore, what I have talked about is around uh, uh, geo SDSD SSA SDA, but uh, moving forward, the so-called cylinder, the space between Earth and the uh, Moon. Uh, is considered an SSA-SDA to secure sustainability in that uh, area will be required. And Japan has a variety of technology in this area. And one of the examples, as you can see in this chart, is HTB. So ISS, um, to the ISS, uh, we have ships to deliver goods. An advanced version uh, of that is being developed at this moment. A modified version of this uh, is in the Artemis um, project gateway related um, uh, to stations around Luna. We want to provide some um, supplies. The technology to uh, access to this Luna area uh, is something that Japan will be able to have. And uh, Sysmix and Mimix, uh, there are names. And the technology to uh, land on lunar or the sample return technology to land on Mars, uh, we uh, have uh, such technology achieved. Such uh, this is um, this kind of uh, technology will be conducive to SSA and SDA by using this kind of technology. What kind of collaboration area can we think about uh, through partnership? And there are two areas. First is about the uh, geo SSA SDA area or STM space traffic management area. These are the two areas that we can think about, as mentioned earlier. We have data sharing or command and control area collaboration. Furthermore, we can collaborate uh, using um, uh, collaboration through export of assets. On the right bottom, this is a possible collaboration in CISU Luna area. It is rather difficult to see because it's busy, but if you look at the left on the bottom, you see the complex of it described. Actually, at the Space Symposium last year, there was a presentation on this. As you all know, there is a Luxange point. By utilizing the gravity potential in this lunar uh, space, you are able to stably uh, fly in this way. Now, SSA, SDA in this area now will become a more realistic. So the collaboration in this kind of area uh, is one of the potential big area, uh, like we see in the Earth. Now, lastly, from Asia, Oceania um, field, um, there were a lot of participation. So international cooperation within Asia and Oceania region will be crucial in this um, area moving forward. The optical sensor collaboration and radar area collaboration, or a space um, craft uh, related collaboration, or data sharing collaboration. So there are a variety of collaboration uh, uh, possibilities that we can conduct. 
and uh, I have a lot of hope for the further collaboration in this area. This uh, concludes my presentation. Thank you very much for your attention.